Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're having a little bit of a sit down conversation rather than completing the last section of my room. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't do it without you. <laughs> But in today's video, I'm just wanting to talk about a couple of things and get us all on the same page. So two days ago was, what, Wednesday? And I didn't get a video up. And it wasn't that I didn't want to, but I was so exhausted. Guys, what I tell you, these last few days have been hectic. They've been hectic. And a lot of it is just... A lot of my energy goes to my family at the moment because we're still at all of our circumstances and our situations and it just it's better to have all hands in so that is why I haven't been posting as often I know I've said it a thousand times but it doesn't stop being my reality <laughs> sadly like I still have uh, two grandparents who are in their late 70s mid to late 70s who need a lot of help so I'm going to be a good granddaughter and give them the help. But on Wednesday, I was planning to do the video um, that evening, but I forgot that Wednesdays are rehearsals <laughs> and um, I was not feeling it. Like the week before I had gotten it done before, but for some reason I enjoy filming in the evenings and in the afternoons and I, I, I had, had a product. I had to prioritize a uh, rehearsal just because I don't want to be that one squeaky voice you hear <laughs> Sunday morning, uh, week of Christmas, ooh. <laughs> and we're doing so much amazing stuff. We are going to be having um, not only the people who usually sing Sunday mornings, but also a couple that does amazing praise and worship. and. Um, and one of our friends uh, who helps us with our soundboard and is an amazing person on guitar who is going to be joining us and we sounded so good all together. I'm so pumped for next Sunday and I just, it's going to sound amazing. But that's what happened on Wednesday and then Thursday I went down to my grandfather's nursing home to meet him coming back from the hospital. He's finally out of the hospital, uh, but just to let him know, hey, we're here, check on his room, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be, make sure that he's got everything he needs. And as it turns out, he did need laundry, so took care of that. And, um, you know, just little things that in the grand scheme don't sound like they take up a lot of time, but when you live cities away, not even just like an hour, or I guess it is an hour's drive, but when you live like cities away, like an hour away, and you're spending so much time making sure that everyone has the fullness of you, not just on your phone, not just idling, like actually holding conversations, hearing them out, things like that. It takes a lot of energy, especially when you're introverted like I am, and I had no energy left to film. So I'm sorry again that I didn't get a video out those two days, but hopefully you understand and hopefully you have an introvert, if not you, in your life <laughs> and you kind of understand the struggle. Um, aside from that, keeping myself on track with my notes, um, yeah, no, other than that, my main reason I wanted to talk to you was like, I had no idea what I wanted to do for my birthday. Not a clue, not a single clue. I do this every year. I wanna do something grand and extravagant and then I think about, I don't have as many friends to pull that off. Also, like, I don't have the budget for that. Like my, <laughs> my ideal birthday would be like renting out a very regal, high class, like black tie kind of thing. Like ideally, and I know you're seeing like this sweater and this head scarf and jeans and like, yeah, but I dream higher than I actually dress. <laughs> and then when I do dress, I dress that eye. But um, no, for real. I didn't know what I wanted to do for my birthday and then I got around to just like thinking what something simple that people could, don't even have to leave their house to do because a lot of my friends they live over states so what I tend to intended to do was to invite a couple of just real close friends that I talk to daily to and just we're just gonna have the four of us get online and we're gonna play some Cluedo 
I know. Cluedo. What the world is that clue? It's just clue. The rest of the world, for some reason, calls it Cluedo. That makes no sense. <laughs> but clue. Um, we're just going to go on Steam and play the classic edition because I just found out there's a new edition. And as lovely as I would be, it doesn't look like I, I don't know. I'm just so used to the classic edition. I'm just going to stick with the classic edition for now. And uh, we're just going to hang out. I might make some fun drinks and encourage them to have fun snacks. I mean, it's literally the day before New Year's Eve. So it shouldn't be hard to find like some sparkling cider or some like discounted Christmas recipes or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah so that's how i'm gonna celebrate my birthday just hanging out with a couple of friends and you know in the grand scheme it's kind of sad because this is my golden birthday <laughs> but at the same time i'd rather do it uh do something i find enjoyable with the people that i care about rather than just going all out with a bunch of strangers um like i mentioned before club life not my life <laughs> bar life not my life game life mm, closer <laughs> <laughs> so those are my plans for my birthday and I don't know I might do something more extravagant on the actual day since that's going to be taking place mostly in the evening but yeah so whatever happens during the day that'll be my special moment but um I don't know I feel like I do a lot of fancy things when I have the time and energy and finances to do it but like I'm so drained with how this year has gone and I am just like so tired I hate I, I hate to say it but I hate daylight savings when I'm not working because it is the absolute worst idea anyone ever came up with it is a terrible idea the sun goes down way too early <laughs> and it just drains me of energy it really does but um yeah there wasn't really much else i wanted to talk about um before i say that let me look at my notes <laughs> um yeah not really uh but you know we're praying over one of my friends who's going to be joining me on my birthday uh sadly her three-year-old of all people uh got covid and it may have actually come from someone else but like they might have been immune because uh her family's had covid before uh in the in the peak of the pandemic but um we've been praying over them and from what she says her little three-year-old could not care any less she is hyper as she's ever been she's maybe a little bit feverish a little bit sick but like she's just trooping through it <laughs> and i fully believe that's because of all the prayers that have been lifted up and just like it is a house of god it will not be shaken so yeah <laughs> but um but yeah i think that's all i really wanted to talk about I, unless there's something else that i'm forgetting i don't know like i could just drag on and and like just fangirl over red shoes and the seven dwarves but i think i'll leave that for another video um this one's a little short they've gotten so short with all of this like monthly vlogging or daily vlogging because just like i used to have like 30 minute videos and now i can barely stretch to 10 <laughs> and it's not like i'm not trying it's just i don't know when you've got all of your ideas already out there and you're just like trying to find something new and i feel like i'm not the only one because some of the people i follow who do vlogmas some of them are doing the same thing they're asking like hey what do you want to see because i'm running out of ideas <laughs> like it's a lot it is a lot to do 25 to 31 videos in a month it really is and like i if any of you have your own channels and you do vlogmas or you do daily vlogging just like let me know how you get through it <laughs> and i'm still waiting i am still waiting on some of you to give me your youtuber recommendations like for real i got nothing but time in the moment and i would love to know who you guys are watching so <laughs> with that i will catch you guys later 
and thank you so much for listening to me just go on and on and i hope that it's either good background noise or it brought you some entertainment and i'll see you guys later bye